just because the temperatures hit the mid 90s didn't stop thousands from heading to sporting KC or down at celebration at the station. Kami Science William Joy shows you how summer powering through the heat. It's hot. It's really hot. The temperature hit 93. I like the sun, but a little less. A little less humidity, maybe. In these conditions, 90 minutes of sporting KC soccer feels like, well, hell. There's really not a perfect soccer day. It's either hot, cold, windy, or, or whatever. To help sporting KC let fans bring in bottles of water. It's very important, I think, especially with how expensive it is just to buy a bottle of water. I think soccer fans are the most resilient fans out there. Two months ago, everybody was buying up team jackets and scarves. I wish it was 20 degrees. <laughs> I don't do well in the heat, it's hot. Now it's all sunscreen and ice cream. Feels like we went pretty much straight from the cold snow to the 9,500 degrees. The only snow at celebration at the station came in a cone or a cup. It might equal the hottest one we've been to. Umbrellas, tents, and a little tolerance all required. I'm staying cool by uh, hopefully a breeze once in a while and maybe some adult beverages. William Joy, KMBC 9 News. Well, tomorrow, Royals fans get their day in the sun. The team is back home at the K. As Neville said, temperatures once again hit the 90s.